What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another action figure from NECA Toys on the Terminator 2 Judgment Day Ultimate T-800. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it a big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Oh man, I am very stoked for this figure. I really love Terminator 2. This is actually my first Terminator 2 action figure ever. So anyway, uh, you can open this up. It's held together with Velcro. Then you can see Arnold right there. And then Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. Arnold, so many Arnolds. Oh man, the accessories look really plentiful inside there. And then you can see the read up on the back over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is the Terminator out of the packaging. And this is a home run of a figure. NECA absolutely killed it with this piece. This is not a review sample, by the way. I do receive review samples from NECA Toys, but this is just one that I wanted so much. I had pre-ordered it and I had to have it. And I I am not biased here or being partial to neck in any kind of way. I just really like this figure a lot. Been a fan of Terminator 2 uh, ever since I was about 10 years old. So I'm just really, really stoked about this. Now, there are little complaints that I have here and there, but they are very minor to how much I love this figure. Now, this is the ultimate Terminator figure. So he comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with the pistol right here, his shotgun, the grenade launcher, grenades, the minigun, and then three interchangeable heads. I love this paint. Slight variation in color right here with a brighter silver and a slightly darker silver right there across the top. The grip looks detailed out very nicely. Really well made. I like this. And it does fit into his right hand very well. So the figure is made so that, you know, Terminator is mostly right-handed. You see, you see him wielding guns in both hands in the movie, but yeah, this has the trigger finger sticking out for this hand. On the left hand, it's got more of the thumbs up going on and does not have the trigger finger sticking out. And then here's the bartender shotgun, looking amazing. I love the paint on this. Nice sculpted detail right here for the wood, looking very realistic. I always thought it was kind of funny that the bartender was cool with the Terminator stealing that guy's clothes, but he had to draw the line at the motorcycle. It's so realistic looking, I wish this could swing down right here but nah. And he holds the shotgun very well so you can just weave that right in get the fingers through there so that works out very nicely. And then you can just weave it into this supporting hand right there too for the other side. Then we get the grenade launcher looking awesome. Really like this. Only thing is that it is a little warped right over here so it does need some heat to straighten that out. And at first I thought that this piece right here should be able to lift up, but it never really lifts up. He never uses that, you know, part of the site or whatever during the movie. So anyway, looking at the wood right over there, it looks very realistic. Once again, we get this nice strap with some nice paint on the little buckles. Nice texture even on the strap too. Really well made. And he holds the grenade launcher pretty well too. So you can get the finger right into that trigger hole. It'd be a little tricky. You gotta finagle it, but there it goes. So that works out. I like that. And then similar issue with the grenade launcher. The mini gun also kind of has a bend right over here. So I need to apply some heat to straighten that out. This looks really nice. Very good looking paint right there. I like that silver. Looks great. And all of these little bullets right here are painted. And it goes all the way into the sack holding everything. This looks really nice. Love that attention to detail with the paint apps. And the strap looks really nice. And it's pliable, so you can just put it around your shoulder. Then you have the grenades right over here. A little nice attention to detail is that they left one out right there. Terminator blows the door to the lab to get in, so they took that one out. Oh my god, these head sculpts. They are so dead on. I am very pleased with these. I cannot sing NECA's praises enough with them. All three of them are just fantastic. I really like this one a lot. Just Bad ass. Damn, it looks like Arnold. I, I cannot complain here. It, it just looks so good. Nice flesh tone, nice paint detail with the hair even. Ah, this is just too cool. Then when you're switching the heads out, you can go ahead and just add the grenades right here if you want to. And then putting the head on is very easy. Just slip right on there. And that looks really good as well. Just very dead on likeness to Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think. Damn. Ah, I'm just very, very impressed with this. Even the neck has some nice details in it. 
Wow, just really good job here. I'm really digging it a lot. And then we have the battle damaged head sculpt, which looks great as well, but unfortunately just a tiny little smudge of green paint just kind of fell out from the eye right there, and he has a little bit of silver on his nose. But other than that, I mean, geez, dude, look at this. Oh, God, and just like that robot flesh is just all torn up. Oh, that is great, and I love how you can see the Terminator eye right there. That is too cool. And coming around here on the back, you can see that big old gash right there. Now the details on the rest of this figure are just absolutely fantastic. This biker jacket looks incredible. I love how the buttons came out. You even have the silver on all those zippers. Some nice gold paint over here. I love how the jacket is just riddled with bullets. You get some nice browns right in there, giving it some nice realistic leathery wear. Oh man, th this is just phenomenal. I I'm just thoroughly impressed with this. That is just too sick. Even on the back right here, towards the sleeves, they have the little zippers right there painted in really well. That is just too cool. And I like how the jacket's made with the soft material too, so it doesn't hinder any articulation. The belt buckle looks really good. Nice wrinkles in the pants over here. This is great. Now one thing I think is kind of funny is that you can actually remove this part of the leg over here. So I was wondering if they may have been thinking about doing a battle damaged leg part right over here or something, you know? Because I know they did a final battle Terminator and that's not nearly as articulated as this one. So I don't think they reused that mold from the battle final battle one, you know? So anyway, looking right over here, you get some nice paint detail once again. The boots look great too. You got that little silver paint right there for the buckle. That looks awesome right over there as well. He does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So what really made this figure a must get for me is the articulation. I really like the new articulation NECA has added. So you can get this guy to look up just a little bit. He does look down a lot more so though. You can get his head turning side to side and you do get neck pivot in there as well. So you just don't want to pop the head off and the articulation is the same for all three head sculpts. You can get the shoulders to move outward that much and you can get them to move all the way forward. You do get an elbow bend that meets at 90 degrees and it swivels at the elbow and then the wrist moves side to side and you could kind of hinge it up and around. It's on a ball joint so it can move in any direction just a little bit. He does have a waist swivel right here. His legs can move outward right here at the hips this much. You can almost do the splits actually if you really want him to. Then you can get him to kick forward and then you get this nice pliable material right around here around the crotch so he can kick forward. And then you do get an upper thigh swivel right there. Same thing on this side, you get the upper thigh swivel but you get Get this additional above the knee swivel as I mentioned earlier. You also get a knee bend that does not quite meet 90 degrees. I wish I could bend in just a little bit more. On the left leg you do get this calf rotation right there. You do not get that on the right side. You also get a boot rotation and the ankles can move downward a little bit. They can move up and they do have ankle pivot. Now one thing is I had to see if I could fit this Arnold figure on a Harley. So I have this motorcycle that came with the legendary riders Marvel Legends Wolverine and it's not fitting. I mean that will Wolverine figure is for a six inch scale. This is a seven inch scale figure, but I had to try it out anyway, you know, just had to be thorough over here. Yeah, it's not really working out so well. Ah, little chopper. So this Terminator figure is in the seven inch scale. You can see he's just standing a little over seven inches tall. For a Terminator comparison, here's the ultimate Terminator next to the McFarlane Toys Terminator 3 figure. Then here he is next to the Hot Toys T800 from Terminator 1. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, I got a great Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. Check it out. <laughs> so I was re-watching the movie while I was messing with the figure and I just kept on thinking oh that would have been cool if they added that as an accessory or if they had like an interchangeable arm with the endoskeleton or if you can get the battle damaged knee. I mean the accessories could be endless but the ones that we got with this figure are superb. I mean you can recreate the Asa La Vista baby. This is the gun he used. That's the head sculpt that was in that shot. You got the mini gun. You have the grenade launcher, the signature shotgun. I mean I'm just very very happy with this figure. NECA did an outstanding job with this piece. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you have the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. Your guys' help is much appreciated. And if you're any age, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later! Hasta la vista, pendejos! That's crispy. It's a little chopper. Oh shit.